Hey everyone, it's Isomer and I'm back again. Um, as you probably already noticed, there is a slight change to my ship. I have added four parachutes because this episode, we're going to launch this rocket, do our gravity turn, um, wait until our apoapsis, do a small kind of circularization, circularization kind of burn, and uh, since the rocket's not powerful enough, it'll come back to Kerbin, we'll open the parachutes, Everyone will be happy, nothing will explode. At least that's what I hope. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, just like our previous one, um, well, or just like our previous ep three episodes. Two, three episodes? Two episodes? Yeah. Um, you start out by editing your file. Um, we're gonna start with the basics uh, from last episode. So, like normal, we're gonna lock our, our throttle uh, to 1.0. We're going to lock our steering to up with, remember, the rotation that the ship is on the launch pad. And then we'll be staging. And I'll do a nice little print here. Launch. Okay, so unlike last time, um, this one's going to be a slightly different. Instead of waiting for our fuel to run out, we're going to wait until an altitude. And I normally start my gravity turn at about uh, 10,000 meters, so we'll start it there. So we will wait until, and again, one of those words that the game knows is altitude. is greater than 10,000. So then I'll stop the program and wait it for 10,000 to come. So once we do that, I'll make a nice little message here again. We will print the console starting, oops, starting gravity turn. And then we will start our gravity turn. Um, as you can see from the last uh, steering statement right here, um, we do the 180 um, degree rotation, and we also have the two others that we didn't really change at all, the X, Y, and Z. Well, seeing how we need to rotate on the Y, which goes straight through the rocket, we want to rotate this way, which is also negative uh, to the game. Because, again, keep in mind we're launching from this angle. So we want to go this way. And generally, clockwise is positive, counterclockwise kind of is negative. So we'll want to do a negative 45. Oh, not there. Oops. Let's do a zero. We want to do a negative 45 rotation, so we'll do lock. Steering to up plus rotation of zero, negative 45, 180. And that'll get our gravity turn started. Now, once we get to our gravity turn, we're going to want to sit there and wait until our apoapsis gets above the atmosphere because we don't want to do our gravity or we don't want to do our you know circularization burn inside the atmosphere because that would be pointless um because they would just be falling back to the curb no matter what so what we're going to do is we're going to wait till wait until our apoapsis is greater than 75,000 which it's generally a low number for, um, you know, space, since it does start about 70,000. Uh, but 75,000 should get us in space and should be no problem if we actually get an orbit there. So we'll wait until the Apple is equal, equals that. Now once it does that, we'll make a little statement saying, um, waiting until 
apo apsis. And we'll want to also turn the engines off. So we're going to go down and do a lock throttle statement. And do it to 0, 0.0. And that'll lock our throttle to 0, turn off the engine, all that kind of stuff. Now one thing we'll want to do, we'll also want to lock our steering, because we don't lock our steering, uh, we'll have to do all the corrections on the fly once we get to our apple apsis, we don't want to do that. So we want to correct it at first so it stays like that until our burn. So we can now do lock steering to prograde. And again, another word that the game knows, it knows prograde, it knows retrograde. Uh, and there's a few others as well. Um, but we'll have our steering locked to prograde because that's where we're going. Okay. So once we have our ship engine off, our apoapsis is above 75,000, and our steering is set up to prograde, the next thing we'll want to do is actually wait until our apoapsis so we can burn. So what we'll have to then, then do is um, wait until, and another word the game knows is ETAs. So it knows that ETAs are different things like apoapsis and paraapsis. So we'll be using apoapsis, apoapsis, and the ETA, let's see, let's say it's less than 10 seconds. So we're 10 seconds out of our apoapsis, which is a safe little number. Okay, once we do that, we will, I'll make a nice, nice little me message. Um, burning, because I'm not even gonna try to spell circular, circularization, circularization, because I know I'll screw it up. So we'll be burning 10 seconds out of our apoapsis. Okay, so to do that, we should just lock our throttle to 1.0, so full throttle, and keep in mind we're still pointing at prograde, and we will then go into a period of where we'll burn out of fuel, and I know we'll burn out of fuel, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until our, our altitude is to a point where we can open our parachutes. So I'm going to do a wait until altitude, the altitude of the craft, is less than 4,000. And we'll do stage, So at, because it's on another stage. Um, you can do action group and stuff like that. We'll probably get into that later once we actually launch our satellite into orbit actually get it into orbit. I'll be, I'll be building another craft off uh, game, or out of game here after, uh, or actually out of tutorial here. And, um, so yeah, let's just go through it and make sure. We gotta lock our throttle to one, lock steering to up, rotation of launch pad, wolf stage, print launch, wait until their altitude is over 10,000, Trying to start gravity turn. Lock our steering to up with the rotation of negative 45, which is the correct direction. And then 180 rotation. We'll do wait until apoapsis is greater than 75,000, which is in space. We'll print waiting for apoapsis. We'll lock our throttle to zero. Lock our steering to prograde. And wait until apoapsis is or the ETA for absolute apps is less than 10. Um, now what we might want to do is we can also, uh, let's say we don't want to wait the whole time in real time um, for, uh, like let's say waiting for apple apsis. Well, we can also tell it to go in here after wait. We can do a set and that'll set warp which is another word the game knows 
to zero. And that'll set our warp to zero and we won't have any problem like, you know, missing it or let's say we're in some kind of advanced warp, we'll be fine. So it'll go back to real time and then it'll burn. And then once we do that, we lock the throttle to one. We then know that the ship will be out of fuel and we'll come back to carbon. So when the altitude is less than 4,000, we'll do another stage and we should bring it back to carbon. So let's save it and test it out. Uh, run tutorial. And there it goes, launching. With nice little command in the, con the console. So currently we're in this stage. We're sitting right here waiting for altitude to, be good to get over 10,000. This is the most simple part of the whole mission. Um, really not much we're doing here except for waiting for it to get up into its altitude where it can do the burn, or not the burn, but the uh, steering correction. Okay, so we're about 3,000 meters out. About half fuel left. Okay, and we're now reaching it. As you can see, we are we have no connection to the Kerbal Space Center, but yet the autopilot using KOS is now turning the rocket 45 degrees on the nav ball. And then this is 90 degrees over here. Now we're waiting for Apple Apples to get to that point, which should happen here in a little bit. Now what you'll notice is when we steer to prograde, we'll actually rotate this way, actually, this way, as you can see right there, um, to align the craft to actually zero, negative 90, and, well, not negative 90, but somewhere around the, this line, zero. It zeroes out all the, uh, the rotation on the craft. Okay, so now we're waiting for apoapsis, which now we can speed up time. And as time goes by, it'll keep following the apoapsis. And once we get 10 seconds out, it'll bring us out of time warp. And it'll burn the engine. Oh, there it goes. See, now we're in out of time warp, burning the engine. And we are now out of fuel. So I'll speed this process up. Or we're still in orbit. Coming back down for a landing. So yeah, this is a basically simple script, how to get into orbit, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, another command you want to do, probably, um, with all this, now that you're creating longer scripts, I'm not going to do it in this because it's not that big a script yet, at least in my opinion, is um, you can do a save and then the file name, which is a tutorial, to one or any kind of other number, which will allow you to. And there's the parachute being deployed. I probably shouldn't have time warp at that point. But allow you to save it to an archive so it's not on the ship. So when you restart, you can just say uh, copy tutorial from one and that'll copy back over to your ship. And as you can see, parachutes are open, completely automated. We launched, did our gravity turn, went to orbit, did a small uh, prograde burn while on orbit, or on, uh, on orbit, but on suborbital flight, and then wait till we were back in Kerbin. Once we were at a below 4,000, we opened our parachutes, and now we're drifting slowly toward the Kerbin seas. So, that's been it. This that's been it for this tutorial. I'll be back again, and we'll actually get this thing to orbit, and you know, circ and circularize around uh, Kerbin.
So until next time, this is Asimar signing out.